Hi there, I'm the Neuromuscular Mechanic and today we're going to be talking about the rotator interval injection for the shoulder using ultrasound guidance. So this injection, um, I will typically consider it for adhesive capsulitis or frozen shoulder first and foremost. It can also be used for glenerol humeral joint arthritis. Compared to the posterior joint approach, it's more superficial. The needle is easier to visualize, um, so that is, uh, those are advantages to that. Um, so whenever I do an injection, I like to have a checklist. I like to go through the ideal patient positioning for the procedure, the right transducer, surface localization to know where to put your probe to start, structures to identify with the pre-scan around the target, and then the target itself for the injection. So with the patient position, I have the patient on their back supine with their arm by their side with neutral shoulder rotation and the forearm supinated. I believe that puts the biceps tendon in the best view. I will then use a linear high frequency ultrasound probe to identify the structure because it's very superficial. With surface localization, I will identify the long head of the uh, biceps tendon proximally to palpation. Once I've identified it, I'll put the ultrasound probe in transverse orientation over the tendon and then I will scan proximally to find the rotator interval. With the pre-scan structures that I want to identify are the uh, deltoid and the humerus, and then probably the most important structures would be the long head of the biceps tendon with the overlying caracohumeral ligament, and then the adjacent supraspinatus tendon, which is uh, lateral, and the subscapularis tendon, which will be medial uh, to the biceps tendon. And then when I think about, well, where's my target, um, when I do the procedure, I'm bringing the needle in from lateral to medial, and I'm trying to get the needle on either side of the long head of the biceps tendon, um, just beside it, but under the caracohumeral ligament. That's what I'm aiming for. So we'll look at some videos here. Um, so here I'm scanning the biceps tendon very distally, and as I move proximally in transverse plane, there's the long head of the biceps tendon. And this is really the most important structure to identify, and when I'm looking at the, to find the rotator interval, I will start, um, I'll start distally. And so here I have it, and now I'm starting to move that probe a little bit more proximally. You see the bicipital groove is going to start to disappear uh, here as I again move slowly up proximally. Then I'm going to switch to a different view here, but now I've moved the probe slightly laterally. And what I've identified is the subscapularis tendon that I have marked with the white arrow. Overlying it is the deltoid. And although it's not marked here, to the right of the subscapularis tendon, that hyperechoic structure is the biceps tendon. So we'll move again a little bit more laterally here, and there's that long head of the biceps tendon. And then the CHL, or the caracohumeral ligament, is right above it. And you can see sort of a space in between the two. Um, so again, that long head of the biceps tendon um, is what we're trying to look for with the caracohumeral ligament. Then when I move the probe even more laterally, if I were to do this, then I would identify the supraspinatus uh, tendon. And here I've also marked the underlying uh, humerus. So again, the goal with the ultrasound is to find that long head of the biceps tendon at the bicipital groove, move proximally. It should lie between the supraspinatus and subscapularis tendon with the overlying caracohumeral ligament. And so here I am moving back to that biceps tendon and the caracohumeral ligament. And so when I do my injection, I want to follow the plane of that white uh, line. So I'm bringing the needle around the long head of the biceps tendon, but under the caracohumeral ligament in that space. Again, not injecting into the biceps tendon, but also not into the supraspinatus tendon or subscapularis tendon. So that ends the video. I'm the neuromuscular mechanic, and I hope you found today's video uh, helpful and handy. Thank you.